All right, so we have Kit here with the Dr. Cook's bridle. What I've done is I've put a little ring here where the straps cross under, and this is gonna act as a counterweight because you've got the weight of the ring and the strap that comes out the nose that needs, that is a substantial weight and needs to be countered underneath her jaw. Sometimes on these bridles, especially if you adjust these too far out, you have more weight out here than you do under here. So I'm gonna demonstrate a little bit. You notice we got lots of space right here and it's holding itself like that. And get over here, Kit. We're gonna go ahead and engage this and watch under her chin. There it tightens and you see it bounce back and release. Tightens, bounce back and release. Hi huh, Kit, good girl. And part of that is you want to be sure that these straps, these are actually still a little bit longer than I'd like them to be. I want them to just barely meet under her chin. You notice I can almost, yeah, I can make the rings flush with each other. But we are out of adjustability up here. I'd have to punch more holes. So that's an easy little thing you can do to help make your cross under bridle release a little bit better if you feel like it doesn't give. So you see I've got plenty of room there. I can fit my finger in there. Ask, release, you see it kind of bounce back up, and again, I can get my finger under there without having to push on it. And we'll do the other side here real quick. And you see that release. All right, Kit, back here. Good girl.